This is the new Mars Hydro TS600. It's a 100 watt LED grow light that I'm going to use for my seedling growth phase. And I'm going to use it to replace the two compact fluorescent bulbs that I've been using for the past years. And these bulbs are each 42 watts, so it's 84 watts of lighting. This thing is super bright. You can't really look at it with your bare eyes. And my kilowatt meter is showing 98 watts of electricity. And the measurements, it's 14 inches this direction, 12 and a quarter this side. Height wise, it's about two inches. And it comes with hanging hardware. It's pretty neat. There's a little locking cam mechanism so you can raise and lower the light that mounts onto these spots on the reflector. The power cord is 5 feet 10 inches long, 70 inches. Since I'm always curious, I removed the three screws of this little cover plate to see what's in here. And there's a little circuit board with, I guess, our ballasts, and it's shrink wrapped. The entire light is really well made, high quality. Circuit board looks really nice. And one thing I noticed with the light is the very center red LED isn't as bright as the other ones. So I actually emailed them and they told me it's supposed to be that way because this is an infrared LED. And on the Mars Hydra website, it shows the spectrum of the light and it shows the different LEDs that are used. And here is that one LED, it's an IR infrared wavelength and it says that it's dimmer than the red ones so that explains it this is a seek thermal camera and i'm gonna turn the light on and see what kind of temperatures are shown okay so here is the led side of the light and Probably the things that are getting the hottest are these little IC chips. If you really get in close, it's only about 150 degrees. So it may look hot, but it's not very hot. So the things that were getting the hottest were these little black IC chips. And we'll take a look at the components under this cover. And there's the hottest spot, 183 degrees. Now I'll flip it over. And we'll look at the other parts of the light. This right here is 104 degrees. Yeah, it just feels warm, barely lukewarm. So the light really does seem super efficient. Yeah, there's just barely a little warmth there. So that's pretty neat. I just realized those two little rectangles were actually the reflection off of these stickers. But now I'm going to examine this bulb to see how this heats up. And as you can see, 245 degrees 
this compact fluorescent light bulb gets much hotter, hotter than the LED light fixture. And with this cabinet, I'm going to paint the side walls and the interior of the doors white because white will reflect the light and it'll be more intense for the plants when I have them down here. I'm in the process of hanging the light and one thing that I don't like is the cord. It's kind of stiff and it's overly heavy duty. This kind of cord would be on like a 1500 watt air compressor or something. Considering the light is only 100 watts, I wish the cable was more supple because I'm gonna have a hard time. Any way I mount the cable, it's so stiff that it moves the whole reflector around. Here it is, all set up. I ended up not really having a problem with the cord. I kind of routed it onto a little hook and it goes through a hole at the bottom. But it seems to work fine. I've had the door shut for about an hour and the temperature is 80 degrees so this light is runs very cool if i had the doors closed with those two compact fluorescents it would have been over 100 degrees inside of there another method i use to regulate the temperature is to prop the doors onto each other and it creates like a little triangle for airflow. And I'm super excited to see the results that this light will produce because it's engineered with today's technology to grow plants. So I'm expecting it to do a lot better than those compact fluorescents. So stay tuned for the spring garden seedling starts where I'll show how the plants grow in time under this new light.